get in the clinch right now. Yeah. Both guys jockeying for a dominant position. Uh, uh, uh. Nice right, inside right. and then big kick to the midsection there. Yeah, Todd's got to straighten his hands out if he's going to make anything work here. Yep, he's leaving a lot of space open. Yeah, his hands are very, very low. Blizzard does have a good guard. Good, real good guard, tight. Oh. oh. Blizzard's just going to take a little bit, going to his neutral corner, just trying to catch his breath. Fighter does have up to five minutes. And rarely does someone take that long, but you know, I, th I find that guys kind of jump back into it too quickly because they're eagerness to fight. Yeah, yeah. It's best to let it settle. Yeah, I mean, uh, like maybe take five or five or ten deep breaths. The thing is, too, the t uh, Blizzard's got a good tempo going with that front tip. It's really working for him. If he can keep that range, uh. And he's fighting off the back foot, loses his balance, and it goes for the for the plumb position. Both fighters landing knees in the clinch. Oh, a big uppercut, big uppercut that uppercut comes on from there. Luke Todd. Chris tends to it, okay. A sweep attempt there, but um, Luke was able to maintain good balance. On the ropes. Blizzard's keeping that guard really tight. Uh, uh, turn back. He went for a spinning back yeah. kick, but he was not, not in range. Range for that at all, yeah. And that and ends down. round and one. one. Luke coming out with kicks oh. right there. He goes for a spinning back kick, loses his balance. Timing's gonna be key on this one. Clint being a bit apprehensive, trying to uh -huh. you know figure out Todd's rhythm. Nice his, teep that lands there. His rhythm is just really unorthodox. Um, and again, you know, being a southpaw and stepping into his left side leaves you vulnerable to things. Nice combination there. A kick followed up with the left hand. Clint in the corner, okay. Big knees and combinations with a knee and then following up with an uppercut. All right. Most of the knees are coming down to the legs. Oh, nice oh, throw. Oh, good dump to the canvas. Nice throw, hopefully the yeah, judges. Yeah, it was a good throw because he was done uh, using his hips and then turning and rather than picking up a fighter, you can't pick somebody yeah. up in Muay Thai, it's not judo. Hopefully the judges will, will point that accordingly. Yeah. Oh. Maybe an overhand uh, yeah. right. Hey, Clint's got to get back to that front tape that was working really well for him in the first round. Nice check there by uh, Clint yeah. Blizzard. Todd's mouth starting to open up. He's starting to get a little bit winded. Oh, big it knee is. landed by Todd. Follow-up knee by Clint Blizzard with a cool last yeah. name. Very good name. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Todd's really unorthodox. He's coming with that, the way he's throwing that right kick, yeah. He's got good speed on his kicks. And that and ends round two. Uh, but again, Ladies that's and leaving it to the judges. The and and final uh, round. a lot of the times the judges tend to not point those accordingly. And a big right. left hand yeah. lands there. They clinch up, they tie up right now. They're trying to find that uppercut again, Todd is. Uh, Good teep there by uh, Clint Blizzard. He's trying to keep him at bay with his teeps. They come in close again. Yeah, but in the third round, now he's got to really make up some points here. And I don't know if just keeping him at teep distance is going to help. He's got to really get some dumps. He's got to land some solid shots and possibly get a knockdown. And it's not that Todd isn't leaving the openings for it. Yeah. The back kick landed there. And that was like that more of a trip. More of a trip, a little yeah. bit.
they, oh, oh, another, another shot south. Shot. And then we're always in kind of danger yeah. of that w when you're fighting a southpaw. Oh, yeah. If you look at the right leg of um, Luke Todd, though, you will see a big, big welt. Yeah, he's. Uh, they both. They're both carrying. Uh, Blizzard's, car Blizzard, Blizzard's carrying some rib cage marks right now on his uh, right side. They're both wearing wearing some bruises. Sometimes, especially with Caucasian, uh, you know, you're, 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 it's hard to say like if it's done just by damage yeah. or are there people who like bruise easily. Nice. Oh, that could have been something really good. Todd is oh. very good at, at sneaking those uppercuts in yeah. often in the clinch. And again, for as unorthodox as he is, he's keeping his balance really, really well. Really well. Oh. Nice spinning back nice fist, fist, but landed on the glove yeah. of uh, Clint Blizzard. Yep. Got a little, bit of a, a little a bit of a cut on Todd's eye. Both guys coming really down going to the last ten to seconds. Round. And that That's the ends third. the fight between Luke Todd out of Gleason's Gym in Brooklyn, New York, and Clint Blizzard out of Anderson's in South Carolina. You know, on the level of like, if you look at like, you know, say thirteen. Ladies points, and gentlemen, after three rounds time. of action here at the Broad Street Ballroom, we go to the judges' score totals. Judge A, 29-28 for Luke Todd. Judge B, 29-28 for Clint Blizzard. And Judge C scores this bout 29-28 for your winner by split decision. From Anderson, South Carolina, Clint Blizzard. Right. Well, that yep. was one of the times that the judges and yeah. the two of us but didn't necessarily we, see we eye to eye. On things. Um, I'm trying to see where they saw the points from. But, well, uh, I mean, we were thinking, okay, heavy hands.